Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 432. The category will be NASA. This isn't just space, this is specifically the NASA part of space. So keep that in mind as you're answering these questions. Thank you for watching, and good luck on today's trivia quiz. Question number one. Started October 1st, 1958 as an independent agency of the U.S. federal government responsible for the civilian space program as well as aeronautics and space research, what does the acronym NASA stand for? The answer is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Question 2. NASA was built on an existing government agency that had been doing space and rocketry research in the 1940s and 50s. What was the name of that agency that NASA took over in 1958? The answer is the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Question number three. Launched on April 1st, 1960, what was the name of the first successful low earth orbital satellite used primarily for observing weather that led to the network of weather satellites in use today? The first successful weather satellite was the Tiros 1. Question number 4. In 1948, while riding aboard a V 2 Blossom rocket, what species of animal was the first living being launched into space by the U.S.? The answer is a monkey, specifically a rhesus monkey named Albert. Question number five. Which NASA program made 25 flights, six of which carried astronauts, including the United States' first crewed flight into space in 1961? That would be the Mercury program. Question number six. Congress added a declaration that activities in space should be devoted to peaceful purposes for the benefit of all mankind to the bill that created NASA, which was signed into law by what U.S. president? That president was Dwight D. Eisenhower. Question number seven. In August of 2013, the Mars Curiosity rover played the first song ever performed on another planet. What song was it? I believe it was his one year anniversary on the planet. He played Happy Birthday. He, she, it, it played. Question number eight. The third woman in space overall after USSR cosmonauts Valentina Tereshkova and Svetlana Savetskaya, what was the name of the physicist who in 1983 became the first American woman in space? Much easier to pronounce, Sally Ride was the first American woman in space. Question number nine. 
between Mercury and Apollo from 1961 to 1966, what was the name of the NASA project whose goal was to test and refine the equipment and techniques necessary to accomplish the planned moon missions? Between the Mercury and Apollo missions was the Gemini project. Question number 10. After a short circuit caused an explosion that left the craft with insufficient battery power, what mission was aborted and the onboard crew, with the help of NASA engineers, had to make fast, unorthodox repairs under extreme pressure to return the crew to Earth safely? The answer is Apollo 13. Question number 11. What was the name of the Mars program that consisted of a pair of American space probes that became the first NASA mission to land a spacecraft safely on another planet? The answer is Viking. Question number 12. Although the mission numbering system was changed several times, resulting in a mix of numbers and letters, all shuttle missions had the STS prefix. What did STS stand for? The answer is the Space Transportation System. Question 13. On August 19, 1958, what man, previously the president of Case Institute of Technology in Cleveland, Ohio, was sworn in by President Eisenhower to become NASA's first ever administrator? The answer is T. Keith Glennon. Question 14. What was the name of the American teacher from Concord, New Hampshire, who was selected from over 11,000 applicants to participate in the NASA Teacher in Space Project, but was killed 73 seconds after liftoff in the Challenger Space Shuttle disaster in 1986? Her name was Krista McAuliffe. Question number 15. As of 2020, what two companies are contracted by NASA to carry astronauts to and from the space station? The answer is SpaceX and Boeing. Question 16. On July 20th, 1969, what man became the first human to step foot on the moon where he and a fellow astronaut walked around the surface for about three hours and carried out experiments while the command module pilot stayed in orbit around the moon? The first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong. Question 17. No human has walked on the moon since 1972. In fact, no humans have left low Earth orbit since then either. What was the name of the last NASA mission to put humans on the lunar surface? The answer is Apollo 17. Question 18. 
Gus Grissom, Edward White III, and Roger Chaffee were the first Americans killed in a NASA spacecraft when a fire broke out in the cockpit during a launch pad test. On which mission were they killed? The answer is Apollo 1. Question 19. What was the name of NASA's robotic exploration rover that was active on Mars from 2004 until the middle of 2018 when it sent a final message to Mission Control stating, My battery is low and it is getting dark. The answer is Opportunity. Question number 20. The first shuttle built that made it into space was delivered to the Kennedy Space Center in 1979 and flew the first five space shuttle missions. What was its name? Its name was Columbia. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trippia. I don't know if you've heard this story about this little uh, Mars Opportunity rover, but when I was reading up on it, I looked it up on Wikipedia and I saw that story, and I guess a lot of the NASA people got real emotional because some dust had blown over on this thing's solar panels, and it wouldn't blow it off, and since it's battery operated without those solar panels, it basically was going to run out of battery. So even though it was just a robot, this thing was only supposed to be there for 90 days before they didn't expect it to work anymore. And it worked from 2004 to 2018. So a lot of these people had spent their entire career with this one robot. So when this dust storm covered up its solar panels, it started losing battery and they were trying to get it to go fast enough to blow this stuff off and they couldn't and like the last thing this little robot texted was basically my battery is low and it's getting dark almost like he knew that it was all over and they sent I think they sent over a thousand different messages to try to wake it back up and after windstorms they tried to fire it back up but they said once that battery died it couldn't just recharge the normal way it either had to stay charged or it was going to be all over for good for the computing system so pretty interesting story pretty cool little deal you should look it up if you got the time it's the mars opportunity rover anyways here's question 21 the tiebreaker before columbia challenger discovery atlantis and endeavor what was the name of the very first shuttle rolled out on september 17 1976 that was constructed without engines or a functional heat shield and was only used for atmospheric test flights. The very first shuttle was named the Enterprise. So, there you go. Thanks for watching this one. Very interesting subject. Thank you for the people who suggested NASA. I've had a couple people ask for it, um, space and NASA. So this one was specifically NASA, and we'll do a, a space one later. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.